elementary teachers, let's grow food gardens with your class. And to do that, I always recommend that you start with seeds. Don't you go out there and buy a bunch of seedlings and just plant them in the garden with your students for many reasons. First of all, seedlings are usually more expensive than seeds. And it's usually not easy to find organic seedlings than organic seeds. Organic seeds are very easy to find. And that's essentially a better food and should be part of what you teach your students, that organic is better. But even if you have, you know, um, somebody who's donating a bunch of organic even seedlings to your school, still, I don't think you should start there. I, I still think that you should start with seeds because it is about education and growing food starts with growing seeds. And if you go and plant seedlings right away without going through this, the, uh, from the beginning of the cycle of growing food, which is starting seeds, your students will miss out on a huge opportunity to learn about seeds, germination, seedlings, how to, you know, take care of little plants. They will also, um, miss out on aspects of growing food, such as, you know, hardening of those seedlings, getting them used to the uh, out, outsourced outside environment and then, you know, going out and planting them outside. So start with seeds. Now, but which seeds is very important because not all seeds are proper for growing inside schools and classrooms. I've been doing this for a decade and I have a recommended list of seeds that I can go on my profile and grab for free. In it, I also tell you which seeds to avoid because growing a food garden at home is very different than growing it at school. So if you are an avid gardener and you ha have already grown a bunch of different kinds of seeds and seedlings and food plants at home, and you're, you've been very successful in doing that, I do not recommend that do, uh, you to do exactly what you did at home at school, because again, it's a very different environment. It's a very different schedule. You're not there during summer. So there are a bunch of seeds that I would like you to avoid growing with your students, at least at the beginning. So go grab that list. And if you're watching this before the end of January 24, you're in for a treat because I, not only that, I'm going to top, top that with a free webinar. And in this free webinar, not only you will get the list of seeds for free, but you will also get um, a very important, one of my most important guides for starting seedlings in schools for free. And I will also give you my entire two-phase plan with all the practical details on how to actually get it done in this webinar completely for free for getting you from the very beginning all the way to growing a successful, lush, flourishing and beautiful school garden that is sustained for years to come. Go grab your spot in this webinar and I'll see you in there.